What's up everybody, Daddy Nona again with another video, and we're here with part 3 of Killer Frequency. Last time we were about to save Carrie and her friends. But, uh, as you can see here, we are currently at 2 hours playtime. Last episode was about an hour long, this episode's probably gonna be another hour long, and then hopefully this may be the finale. Don't know as of right now. But, uh, I... I guess we should just jump right into it and see what the hell happens and hopefully we don't get another person killed, but you know. You'll like this next song. <laughs> Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right. I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. Yeah. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Can't be too scary though so far. Motherfucker. Lock. For now. That's not opening. Huh. So many locked doors, so few keys. Our desk would be back here. Oh, wait. Right here. Jeez, they really tucked Jeannie away. Um. Oh, shit, she was in love with uh, Jimmy. Friendship quiz. This might work. Fuck. I get it then. See how this works. So most likely to peak Mount Everest would be Heather. Okay. Not too far up. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah. I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Uh... Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather. He picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Looks like we escaped prison, so Jennifer. Jennifer? Uh, Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier that way. Then is part four. 
This is a very detailed plan. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four, we need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Ah, uh, David, Cynthia, and Scott. Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. Hot David. Right? I'm gonna say Hot David because he's a. Host. Yeah. Hot David. <laughs> yeah, you, uh. You spend a lot of time running shirtless. You got this, Hot David. Sweet! Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof, a runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. He thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believe? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Most likely to win an Oscar, I'm thinking. Worst poker face, so I'm thinking... Lisa or Tammy, so I'm gonna do Tammy. Maybe, so let's see. Tammy. Tammy. If you survive this, never do that. Yeah, I didn't want to click that. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods Damn. and then back to Gallows Creek. Um, okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see. So, a little bit of a problem we've had. Um, that's not fucking good and so i uh, i don't know obs from what the looks of it did not record the ending bit of that call fuck well i just ended the call looked over and realized it wasn't recording but i'll tell y'all it all went swell uh he ended up leaving carrie at a gate <laughs> alive which was weird he kind of just stared at her and walked away while the rest of them drove off in the van and kind of left her but we've kind of, I don't know, it could be like he doesn't want to target young female kids. I don't know, though, at this time. Uh, you didn't miss much. You missed maybe like five minutes worth of shit. Uh, I'm glad I checked, though, or else y'all would have missed a lot more. But uh, now it's recording, so let's get back into it. And, stay uh, inside yeah. and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song. For the girl walking home in the dark. This works a bit better. Lighten out lurkers. <laughs> uh, kind of ironic, if you know what I mean. This game's been pretty interesting hey, so far. Hey, we had far. a call come in. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. <laughs> What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to call in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starlink Security here earlier installing the Starlink 4000 system, so I'm a mm. little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky, and okay. I now consider you a friend, my man. Thanks, We're friends bud. now, huh? Well, that's kind He's of not really self-promoting. He's being pretty nice. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by Just Ricky. Ah. Uh, yeah. 
back then. Things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. Yep. Sharing that burden just took so much weight it's off. It's weird how, how much that long story from there, but now. I found Roller Disco. Um, as people, I learned how to have fun again. Cutting loose, really social making most shapes. Of the time. Now whenever I but get down, I get down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the yep. first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh! Oh no, he's got a dog. Oh, hello, Max. If that fucking killer kills the dog, I'm ripping his fucking head off and feeding it to a fucking hog, dude. Yeah, welcome to the show, Max. I'm like a dumb Max, shepherd, my shit. emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, oh, but God. I always say he's the one that rescued me. Okay. He's that, the best dog yeah. a guy could ask for. I don't get why you course, say I rescued I the dog. You went and picked it up from he's a pound. Me now, a real pro. Wait a minute. Max can skate. A dog. Yeah, man. At first they said it skate. couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. <laughs> but Maxie loves the rink, man. This reminds me of that uh, game. Is I that another remember. train, Maxie? It's like you're working for Maxie a new stage train. trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Huh. You must be really close to the train station, dog. <laughs> it sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, can I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a little. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Uh, let's do the flow, maybe. No, let's do the hang-ups. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, yeah. I get that. He talked a bit much Fucking for my normal. taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, th that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, oh, weren't you? God. Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, Collar? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. No, it's Carrie. Carrie! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though not everybody made it, and uh, I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're yep. safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't. Why am I... Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did... Why let me go? Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. Maybe. But I don't know. Stop him I, from that, me too? I, I honestly don't fucking know. After everything he did to... These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? Uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And... Blast Thank you. Processor. This next one goes out to Carrie. Oh, we have this one. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. 
Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. Yeah, that's weird. That's honestly kind of weird. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. I mean, what's there to do outside? I mean, like, can we explore? Locked tight. I'm gonna walk down our... Yeah, I'm gonna walk downstairs if anything. Let's check out this. Yeah, this one's pretty clean. Probably because it's the female bathroom. This window here, I don't lock. Just gonna check the front door, make sure it's all locked up tight. If God, it is. Yeah, there's no way I'm going out of them fucking front doors, dude. No way. I would rather die than go out of them front doors. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or... Scratch that, Forrest. We have a caller. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Your name was Dawn, right? My Peggy. Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. And I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? I'll play a track for you, Don, but maybe pick another one? We don't exactly have that one in rotation right now. No, Forrest. You do have it. It's just outside the window. Oh, There's God. a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? It's miles from the station. It won't take a second to grab it. Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's something unnatural about this freak. He's, he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will, Forrest. Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's going to be next. What? Uh, Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. Dude. <sighs> well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. I know. Is she serious, Peggy? I tell you. She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth... All right, I'll do it. Fuck, man. You're a I can't good man, Forrest. I'll slide I you the key you. to the fire door. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it... Uh, you know, that I never thought about it. That is stupid. But, yeah. Cause what if we I, should talk I don't to have Reggie a key. about that later. That anyway, is so I'm insane. Down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16. The screen. Yeah. With me, Peggy. Dude, the fucking 80s dog. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know she actually got up. Yeah, that's nice. It's hard to see her. She kind of just looks grayed out. But, um... Yeah, no, the 80s was a fucking crazy time, dog. No one gave a fuck about fire safety or anything. Everyone was too busy smoking weed, snorting cocaine. It, people were just having too fun of a time to care about buildings being kitchen on fire. And to be honest, it was probably more common back then, too. Oh, God. Oh, we're back here. You know. I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. 
out here? I I'm so scared in right the now. Open? Hello? Uh. That was him. I don't think it's an option to go back inside. Dude, like, I'm clenched. My butt cheeks are clenched. Where is this thing? Oh. I don't know what these things are for. Fuck you, Peggy. Can't find it. All right. <clears throat> Which window would she have thrown it out of? This window? Not here. And me seeing him doesn't make my paranoia any better. He was there. He walked around the fucking corner, bro. Oh, wait. Wait. There it is. Here it is. Long ride home. Let me just get back inside. Of course. It locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. No, I can't handle a, a this. A door, elevator, or something. Fuck. And that's broken too. Only the best for KFAM. See if I can fix this. Looks Falling like a power wire. issue. I should check the fuse box. Uh, we're back here. Yeah, I know this... Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. I don't like this. Uh, yeah, I don't like this. I'm, all, I'm being honest, bro. Stand back here, so we should be fine. I cannot grab it. Oh, wait, twenty and a five. I don't like this. I'm gonna save. I haven't been saving too much, which is a dumb mistake. Oh god, it's cute. Nah, that's not right. Do the fuses Wait, add they gotta, up properly? Wait, they gotta add up to 70, so 30, 50, 55, 60. So no. Let's go try to find some other fuses. Oh man, I'm so fucking scared right now, bro. Man, I don't like being out here. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Honestly, don't. Here in Wolves Hell. That's another five right there. Oh, there's uh, something right there. Man, there's, there's seizures everywhere. A 
let's see. Let's try working with these two, maybe. So, maybe take that one out. Now it's at 30, 50, 67. Okay, this should work. Bingo! I don't like that sound. I don't like basements. I could probably survive that fall. Can I close them behind me? Fuck no, of course I can't. I'm gonna get murdered. Looks like the janitor's closet. But what did Peggy say his name was? Clyde? Wait a fucking minute. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. The doors are closed. Oh, I thought it was a body. Whoa! I did that. Why the fuck? Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. Not good. Peggy's probably upstairs fucking dead. God, please let this be the last locked door. No. Uh, don't make me look for a fucking key. I'm about to puke. I'm gonna fucking puke. This game is so fucking fun. I know what it's gonna be. Ah. Ah, there's the beautiful key. I should be able to get back to the studio now. Uh, I don't want this. Can't move fast enough, literally. I'm. I'm Yes. You close. Okay, now we have a fucking door wide open to the public. Um, because the basement's cocked open. I wish there was a way to shut that. I oh wait, we're on air. That's a good sign. We're still on the air. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for Jesus Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I. I thought something had happened. Something that did I was happen. dead. I was got Clive the janitor stabbed. might be Clive the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind me. So. Bullshit. 240. Fuck, man. My skin's crawling. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this no. again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy janitor, who you think is the creepy whistling man. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's, Clive's, next target. That's right, and we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there, too? The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Okay, oh shit, yeah, we brought the board, okay. So these four, he, okay, so Kim Walker is at an improv. Club. Let's see, where would Kim Walker be?
Hold on. Strategy struck it. Nah, nah, all of them are dead. So no one's gonna be at the hospital apparently. Yet. Don't know. Why, why don't I know? I don't know. I actually don't. How's it going? Bad. Ugh. It's not going well. I, I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Yeah, I got this. Okay, let's start with this note. Okay, reading up on it, it says, Festival of Disaster, Big Wheel Breaks Free, 15 Injured, Who is to Blame? The Big Wheel Broke Free, I'm Way. So, this has nothing to do with our targets. Now, what I have seen is this local doctor, Kim Walker, is now a doctor. So, I mean, of course, Kim Walker is going to be at the hospital because she's a doctor after all. Okay, now here. Gallows Creek Power Station hires 20 new staff and record hire, 12 of which were students. So one of them are going to be at the power plant because of right here. Call for donations. Former Gallows. Into the road of New York Bonds. Yeah, so Chuck Brody might also be at the hospital. Fuck! He supposedly broke something. That says nothing about him. Oh, wait. Justice for vessel victims. Ah, uh, Aunt Williams. The two year and junior were distracted about talking. Okay, so. That has one of our guys, Aunt Williams. So, Aunt Williams, let's see, he is in this note here. I'll put him there for that. Now, this doesn't really say anything about our guys. Now, here, marriage announcement Kim Walker and Peter Shine are the May 30th best wishes. A Kim Walker and so this happened before that so this is no longer relevant this as far as we know is where she is presently the problem about that is that's a picture of him Tyler Wallace is that any of our guys it is not. Holy up, holy shit, this is about him. 
because he is the lead engineer that happened after He. So I think Chuck Brody is going to be at the gas station here. Because if you listen here, lottery tickets. Chuck Brody, they were buying him a bunch of lottery tickets. Boom. That happened before that, so I will put that down there. How am I piecing this shit together? Slowly but surely. Okay, uh, let's see. Infamous uh, Diary of a Car Thief moves out of our cars and star time. Jim Randy. Rebecca Allen was in the car club. So I think, so it says here she was gonna move, but it doesn't say she did. She's a car expert, and she's also a she. So that only leaves the power station. And Art. So Art's gonna, our aunt, is gonna be at the power station. Chuck Brody's at the gas station. Kim Walker's at the hospital. Okay, I think I got this. I honestly think I got this. How's it going? I'm gonna say before. <laughs> Just gave the fuck up. I mean, I don't know. That might be cheating. I'm ready. Know, but Aggie. I'll probably Are you loaded. sure? We've only got one shot at this. I'm yeah. sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Aunt Williams. He is hated, it seems like. Well, Rebecca Allen is, too. I'm thinking... Hold on. I, I, I think I know. But then again, this is about how she ratted on people, I bet. Miss K. I don't know about that. I think it's Ant. I don't... How do I not know? I think it's him. I'm fucking... I'm going with it. Ant Williams. And where will I find them? You will find him at the power station. This is confusing the shit out of me. The power station? Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. If I'm wrong, bro, I'm gonna be pissed. Forrest, I'm through to the power plant, but... They say there isn't anyone by that name there. What? Then who? Jeez! It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? Oh. My. God. The call board. It... I... One moment. Forrest, I'm getting so many calls. Just let me... I'm gonna take us off air for a moment. You know, I, I, I gotta give this more time. Right. Peggy. How about... We reverse a little bit and we just think a little bit more. I'm okay, thanks. I think I've almost got it. Good luck. Let's just calm down here for a minute. Let's think some more. So we know for a fact Ant is not at the power station. Um. 
Hmm. I'm just staring at a fucking torque board. Standing at... Oh, God. Okay, so let's put Chuck's in timeline up here. So that happened. Then he bought this. Let me just so I know. It's Chuck. And I know for a fact he's the one, you know. Boom. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, that gas truck could have been his. Okay. Fucking stupid, bro. I, I don't know why that only just clicked. Boom. Here, let's put... Let's, uh... Hold on, let's get this up here. So this happened. Then he had this happen. Just trying to get organized. So then he had got the gas station. He got the, his fuel truck exploded. Uh, let's see. This about art now. This this is about. Car thievery. Kim Walker. Okay, so we got Chuck's sort of timeline here. He was a football player. He had an accident. They, you know, helped him win the lottery. He bought the gas station. He now owns it, and now a bus fucked up his truck, his, like, fuel truck. And shit happened. And if you look here, it seems like there's a car thievery book here. Let's go to her, the car thief, Rebecca Allen. Let me move all this shit down here. So, local legend takes to Manhattan. That's when she moves out, or is talking about it. So this is after she wrote the book and all that. So she bought this, because this is at the same trailer park. Okay, this is uh, during her crime spree. This is after she went to the police and ratted on a bunch of people, so... Boom. So that's not Kim, that is Rebecca. And that's the trailer park. Now, the thing about that is she stole our cars and our money, said the interview, last year. So she's not there anymore. So we know for a fact she is not in town anymore. She is in Manhattan. So Brody, on the other hand, is still here. I think. Hold on. Mr. B... Shit, there's not much here that says that he was there and died. Now, let's go to Kim Walker. So, we're finding this. This is a marriage announcement in 1970, which is like 10 years ago. So, there's that. Uh, that is about the Ferris wheel... This is about getting to... So this is the present, because I think it's 84 now. I know it's the 80s at least. So this tells me that she is in the hospital. So I think I know for a fact she's in the hospital, dog. Okay, now here... Now let's get to Ant. So, you know, breaks the Ferris wheel. Okay. This happened. Then this happened. This doesn't tell us that he's at the power station. But there is this. Staff surge at power station. So, 
we have no clue where this is. I mean, it, logically, I guess you could say it's Aunt Williams, but we don't know for a fact. Like, just the only person I think I know for a fact where they're at is Kim Walker. She's at the hospital. I mean, it's, it's just a fact almost. I'm gonna fuck up. Because here, I it seems like this Mrs. Case. Mrs. K. Stein. Uh, Mr. M. Dr. Rudd. Wait a minute. She's dead. Can't I get this now? So never mind. She's dead. Because here. She is no longer... Kim Walker. She is Kim Stein. I don't know why this says Kim Walker. It might just be a mistake. But if you look here, it says Mr. and Mrs. Stein. P. Stein, Peter Stein, and Kim Stein or Walker. So, can't be Kim. She's done. Dead. Can't be Rebecca. She's out of town. So it's either Aunt Williams or Jody. <laughs> Do you think maybe... Do you think maybe that? Let's see, Chuck Brody was just an athletic man. So let's see, Kim Walker, done. Rebecca Allen, done. Aunt Williams and Chuck Brody. Them are the two people that it could be. Listen, does this say anything? Yeah, and plus if you look, so... Twenty-four hour gas station. It's, he's at the gas station right now. She, see, and the reason I think I know that is because she's already out of town, evidenced by that newspaper and by this one. So I think it's Chuck Brody and he's at the gas station. Again, I might just reload a save. Because this puzzle's pissing me off. I must have this right. Because, like, if I don't, man... How's it going? Okay, maybe this time I won't, so... I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. Okay. So, just to recap for my little break. Kim's dead. Rebecca's gone. And so Chuck Brody Gas Station is my final guess. I'm sure. So... Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Gas station. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. 24-7 gas station, so hopefully this will work. Hello? Ah. Chuck Brody! Listen! I know it. it sounds crazy. We're fucking we balls. have reason to believe the whistling man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. I'm a fucking man? balls. Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the whistling man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh, God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... Forget? F forget what? Yeah, what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. Hey, get out, dog. I... I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... Jeez! Ah! It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? Right. I... I... Is Chuck... I don't know. Hang on, we're getting a call. Oh, that was the Hello? good way. That was good. Chuck? I think. Chuck! Of course. Oh, thank oh, God! I thought I fucked up. I'm like, damn, bro. Is anyone hurt? I don't that think makes so. sense. Gas station blew up. Why did that not click me before? Town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Yeah. Damn it! That fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. 
Alright, see, where's the gas know. station? Wait, I... Damn it. We lost him. What was that about no, today? No. Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. By the car board? Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 189.16, The yeah. Scream. This fucking record almost got killed over. We're off the air officially. Oh, the whistling man's coming around, gonna kill us all like something. There's gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive no, is targeting. I'm not going back and if that. that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these Damn calls. It. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Fuck you, Peggy. I'm gonna get killed. I'm a dead man. Oh god, bro. I'm a dead man. This is the end of Forest. From the scream. Bro, like, I'm gonna puke. I'm so scared right now. Plus, uh... That door's still locked. Can't wait from those beams. Hmm. Wait a minute. The key? That Is was this different. always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Yeah, dumbass. Oh god! Hey, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom? Fucking hell. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Huh. Something on a metal shelf. We got a tape. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Uh. uh. Dumbass. Oh, wait. My bad. I'm the dumbass here. Hold on. The buttons are hard to see. George Ballow. 1968. That's when this all began for me. Follow the maps. Find the tapes. I'll be waiting. Wait. Huh. George Barrow? Yeah, who's that? I heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. That's cool. So he also has a map. Nice. Uh, shit, there we go. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death... So I found that. That leads some sort of cart down here. I don't like this. Oh wait. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. If you're 
listening to this, then I'm probably dead. What the? I'm a man who likes to stay informed. I've got subscriptions to newspapers all over the country. A few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers, one after the other. Each headline about a murder. Dude. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. And each one drawing closer to Gallows Creek. Drawing closer to the anniversary. None of us are innocent. But I don't think we deserve killing. All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst. And I can. I don't know. Do something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. I didn't kill anyone, mind you. But that's past mattering. Now, there's more I could say than I should say. But my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, hopefully I've said enough for you, listener, whoever the hell you are, to start putting the truth together. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. What's this map too? Did I miss this? What is this? I guess I missed this like little part. Bro, what's this? Fuck man, this is super cool. Shit, have I oh, I think I fucked up, uh Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. Uh -huh. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. So it sounds like he did kill someone, maybe? But he doesn't accept that? Oh, wait. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet, as though the deceased had been running without stopping. Okay, let's get back to Peggy and tell her what the fuck we found. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but... I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Spreading through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. I, um... I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but... For playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know. 
But Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting oh, closer shit. to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. Uh, the board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Holy uh, fuck. Why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you'd killed all those people. Do you think you found everything, Forrest? I think there's gotta be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. You think so? How much did Clive hide down there? Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay, I missed something. So we listened to this one. And, okay. This leads to a dead end, I presume. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Let's head back to this. I think I've listened to all those tapes, but let's go back into this secret, like, room. This kind of looks familiar, maybe? Oh, fuck. Does it, uh, fuck, that seems like it might come in handy. Man, dude. Okay, we've heard that. Now this map shows so there's both a oh a book and a tape. This also says there's a book. Aha! So this talks about a tape I've probably already listened to. This looks useful. Let's put... Fuck, um... Okay, we're close to here. Let's put all the shit that we're finding down here. Like that. Let's head back. So I've got to find this cabinet here. I believe I found all the radios. Only thing is this one. Wait. Nope. Uh no. Was it in here? Maybe, oh wait. Yep, there's something, another tape. Fuck that. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased. This has to be important. Resulting in a fall from a height Virginia. into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Yeah, that's this one. All of them. I don't like how claustrophobic it is. Yeah, we've listened to this one. I think we've listened to all the tapes now. Let's go back and try to talk. What have you found, Forrest? 
I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. Sandra. The jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah? What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around Yeah, I must say. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? That's what still do you mean? water. Reservoirs don't have tides. Yeah. But that's it's what the police like report said. Lake. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. Okay, now. But, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that. I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit, where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. Moved the body? How weird. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded the doctor, uh, Dr. Sullivan, to stop recording. Dr. Sullivan? Wait, Virginia Sullivan? She was her caller from earlier. Yeah. Well... Then our caller was involved in a conspiracy around this boy's death. She died. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It, it looks like she might know something about what's going on. I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with the report that says... I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurant, wasn't her name Virginia? Do you think you found everything? <sighs> I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death that to seem me. like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Oh, come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. From beyond the grave! Oh shit, it's 3 a.m. too. Thank God you're back, Forrest. Fuck you. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? This is our job, Peggy. We, we gotta do it. Oh, you're right. So, what's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. All right, I'll get her on the line. When you're ready, shut the music off. Well, guys, I think we're gonna end this episode off here. I will see you guys next week, though, of course, with this game. This game's awesome. But I hope you all enjoyed the content or are enjoying this series so far. Um, I'm certainly enjoying playing this game. This game's fucking awesome. Awesome, guys. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, so more people get recommended at these videos. And you get notified whenever I post these videos. I appreciate every bit of support y'all give to the channel. And just know that you all... Ha uh, just make sure you all have a fantastic day. And tune in next time. I'll see you then, though. And bye! Thank you.